is a boiling hot afternoon at Auburn, Alabama. The rivalry is just as hot. Tennessee and Auburn, the place is rocking. Auburn has the advantage over the years over Tennessee. Last year, of course, Tennessee knocked off then number one ranked Auburn at Knoxville. Well, it made me feel good. I mean, knowing that Coach Sullivan was coming in, I mean, I knew that, uh, you know, there's no reason for him to be here to coach uh, wishbone quarterbacks. And uh, I knew he was going to a pro-type offense, and, uh, you know, I was thrilled to death with it. And so far, I think everybody likes what we're doing. That's the main thing that's kind of different from last year. I think offensive linemen are happy with what we're doing, yeah, and uh, the backs and receivers are. So, you know, if you're happy and, and you're out there having fun, then that makes a difference. I think fundamentally, you know, Jeff he doesn't have a great arm, but he's got a good arm, and he's got the tools to do it. And it just took a little while for him mentally to, to pick it up and, again, give Coach Dye credit because when we first started early, we weren't very good at it. And he hung with us in our practice and made the commitment that that's what we were going to do. And so it, it's just turned out fine so far. It's even warmed up two degrees to 93. It's going to be a hot one all afternoon. Tennessee will kick off to Auburn. Tommy Agee back at his own five-yard line. 72,000 plus on hand at Jordan Harris Stadium. And here we go. Carlos Reves, the kick. Bouncing into the end zone. Berger, your quarterback. Agee behind him in the backfield. Berger will pass immediately. That's Tommy Agee across the 20, 25-yard line. First down to the 38-yard line before he's taken out there by Byron Hunt or Brian Hunt. Pitch to Jesse. Cuts back towards midfield. Up close to the 45-yard line. Finding a little bit of open room. Brian Schulman punting for Auburn. It's a good punt back to the 10-yard line. That is Thomas Woods, who was upended immediately at the 15-yard line. side big Nate Hill Francis sending Terrence Cleveland another foot or two outside third and two he puts it up and it's overthrown that ball intended on the far side for Clinkscale but Tennessee is a step above UTC in East Carolina here they get that's Tommy A.G. big gainer across midfield to the 40 to the 37 yard line where he's driven out of bounds by Terry McDonald. Pickup by A.G. Ball at the 37-yard line. That is Brent Fullwood, and he swarms and slides his way up near the 30-yard line where McDaniel again makes a stop for Tennessee. is on, attempting a 26-yard field goal. Brian Schulman, the holder, it is up and good. So Knapp hits his second field goal on the year, and Auburn is on the board. First here at Jordan, here's Harris Stadium. It's 3-0 Tigers. City College, you watch him, number seven. This is Francis, the handoff to Howard. He is tripped up immediately. That is number 96, Benji Rowland, the big nose guard. Six carries and 33 yards already. Francis, the ball is loose. And he will recover himself on the 16-yard line. That was big number 92, Ron Stallworth, who stripped the ball out of Francis's grasp. And a big loss for Tennessee.
year from Tennessee. Got a lot of buddies on his club, including Tennessee's quarterback, Jeff Branson. And Woods, he's got some room. 35, 40, look at him go. He's across midfield, he's got one man to beat. And he is stuck hard at about the 30-yard line. And Woods just about sprung that one all the way back. The game, 58 yards. Looks over the defense. He's going to give it to Howard. Loose ball. I believe Auburn's got it. And they do at the 20 yard line. Francis and Howard fail to connect Auburn's football. Harris we had there. Forward. Harris blocking. Turns the corner. 30-yard line. Knocked out there by Terry Brown. He throws it away. Chauvin on the kick again. This time he's going to make sure Woods doesn't get much of a head start. And here he is. Back on a 15. Oh, is he hit? That is number 48 for Auburn. Alvin Mitchell. the first quarter, Auburn ahead. First quarter stats, it's all Auburn. Those stats somewhat misleading because it includes that big 32-yard loss when Francis had the ball stripped midway in the first half. We begin the second quarter, and Francis wants to put it up. He's going long, and it is... Oh, is it caught? Unbelievable! Miller and Howard to give Howard, and he is stacked up. Phillips is in there again. I believe he is short by about a yard of the first. Ravage will try a 36, make it a 46-yard field goal for Tennessee. He's got the leg for it. I don't know if it's going to make it this time. It does not. It is short and a wide right. So Ravage fails on a 46-yard field goal after. He'll be checked out at halftime. All right, Michael, second and 10. Francis looking, and Francis brought down in a heap. That is Tracy Rocker. Scores 42 to 14 at 45, nothing. Berger firing, almost picked off, and that Walter is a big tight end. I'm sorry, that's Lawyer Tillman, number 85, who made the catch in the car. They got someone of the victory last night as Auburn has decided to build a new multi-million dollar sports facility here. Berger, that's complete, and that is Walter Reeves, the tight end over the middle, inside the 30, to the 27-yard line. Berger wants to put it up again. He's got a man. That's Bolton at the five-yard line. Scott Bolton, Auburn, five yards away from Payton. Five-yard line. Reggie Ware in the backfield, but it's the pitch. And that is Greg Fullwood trying to turn it in. He is just short. The one-yard line. That's Ware. Big number 36, Reggie Ware. He was off on a nine point lead. That's his third touchdown of the season. And Tennessee is going for it. Be willing to bet it's going to go to the second man through William Howard. Auburn knows the same thing. The pitch. Oh, a great defensive play. Auburn, Sean Morris comes in from his strong safety slot. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Auburn knew what was coming. Great defensive effort.
one, but it is a throwing attack that they haven't had here in a long time. Brent Forwood, good breaker. Look at him go. He's brought down the 45-yard line. He's mad at himself. He had one man to beat him. He might have gone all the way. Mexico in game one. They lost to Mississippi State in game two. They averaged 22 points in those, ball, in those ball games. So far today, nothing to show at all on the board. It's Auburn 10, Tennessee nothing. We'll have more from Auburn in a moment. position to score again. Berger, forward, twisting, turning, he may go, 10-5, incredible touchdown. You talk about your second effort, you talk about strength, determination, and will to succeed, you saw it all right there, here at number seventeen nothing. Four-yard line, Auburn with the football. Berger hands off, that is four of 20. He's going to go, 35, 40, midfield. Is he going to be caught? 30, 25, Brent forward brought down to the nine-yard line by Terry McDaniel. Wow, 86 yards forward from his own four. Brings it down to the 10-yard line. Berger's going to throw it. In, no, it's caught. Great gainers. Remarkable grab. Terry McDaniel supplied the coverage. The ball was
second and ten. Forward again, bangs off one man, David Poole, and reaches up and out for an extra three yards. That's it. Three quarters of action are over. Back with more after this message and a word from our local station. 14.50 to go in the fourth. First and 10. Tennessee. Sanders, look out. Hit hard from behind by number 49. Number 48, that is Alvin Mitchell. Only 14 yards in the second half. He's got 85 for the game. Sanders, quick pass. This is Miller, the man we told you about. Across midfield, what speed he has. And he's still on his feet. To the 20. He's going to go, I think. 10, 5, touchdown. Anthony Miller. This is the young man we've been talking about all day. 60 yards for this goal. Career high, 14. 182 yards on those 14 carries. And this is forward again. He's got some room right side. And he bounds up close to the 30-yard line. A first. Brett Fullwood, take a look at this. 15 rushes, 196 yards, just shy of that 200-yard mark. His career best. To the 15-yard line, he is over 200 yards on the day. Victor Pepper stops him there. Today, a 36-yarder back in the first quarter. Again, from 30 yards. The place down, it is up. It looks good from here, and it is. Chris Schnapp, good from 30 yards out. His second field goal of the afternoon as Auburn increases its lead by three points. 27-8 our score. Just over five minutes to go in the fourth. Third and ten. Johnny Majors tells me both quarterbacks extremely smart, conscientious, hardworking, and a very difficult decision to choose between the two. Flick scales again. The ball underthrown. Sets up a fourth and ten. Sanders makes it 24 8. Tennessee connecting on the two yard conversion. William Howard taking it over. And James Joseph across midfield. He's rolling to the 37 yard line. James Joseph, a parade All-American last year in high school, finally forced out by Mike Whitehead. Football field. And as good as it looks, it doesn't have all the plumbing and stuff underneath it to keep it in such a great shape. Joseph again, crunching his way inside the 30 to the 28, where Milton Gordon to the exit. Auburn with a 27 to 8 advantage. Fulton in motion, he gets the ball on the reverse, and he's got a lot of open field ahead. To the 20, to the 15, and he's hit there by Keller. From there, spent a year at Wyoming. He's now in his sixth season at Auburn. Joseph to the 10, inside the 5 for the first down. As the clock continues to tick down, Auburn looks like they're going in again. $1,000 scholarship from Chevrolet to go into the general academic fund of their universities. He's been all over the place, and here's a, a classy move from Pat Dye. Touchdown! What happened, I am not sure. It's Berger. It's revenge from last year's bitter defeat at Knoxville, and they've got it big. 34 to 8 the score. Your star of the game, Brett Fullwood, number 22, as Johnny Majors and Pat Dye talk things over. They've gone head to head for many, many years. A final score here from Auburn, Alabama 34 to 8. The Tigers win it big. Brett Fullwood leads the way.